Today is Memorial Day, where we honor all of those Americans who answered the call and represented America in wars throughout the world. Those soldiers, sailors, airmen, members of the Coast Guard, and the Marines have served America to protect our liberty and our way of life. I am standing here at the World War II Memorial. Behind me, there appears to be a solid bronze wall. But if you get closer to the wall, you will notice it's not solid at all, but it's made up of stars. There are over 4,000 stars on that wall. Each one represents 100 Americans killed in the great World War II. That would be 400,000 Americans died for the rest of us. Most of them were very young. 22,000 were from the state of Texas. And while we honor all of those that served in the World War II and, and died, we should remember those that have served before World War II and after World War II in the current wars that America is in, in Afghanistan and Iraq and other places. In my office, I have 40 photographs of men and women, all volunteers from all branches of the service who have been killed in those recent wars. So this Memorial Day, let us remember those that lived and died, especially those young people. We should remember what George Patton said. While it's important that we mourn the loss of such people, we should be grateful to the good Lord that such people ever live, and that's just the way it is.